Hello everybody and welcome to another Rental Tracks how-to video. This time we are setting up our condition templates or our contracts inside your Rental Tracks inventory software management system. So at this point in time, you've gone through setting up your basic settings. If you're following along the how-to videos, you've done your basic settings, your calendar, news feeds, email templates, payment methods, and more. Uh, but now we got to talk about contracts. So the, one of the main features of Rental Tracks is that we are going to automate the provision of or the providing of contracts to our clients so that we know that the contracts are sent every single time. So we don't have any of that hiccups or those those minor issues where the client says, I never saw that contract when you're dealing with them. Uh, it can turn into major dollars if you don't send that. So what we're going to do is set our contracts once and use them within the order sheets in order to make sure that they are set out. So in order to set up your contracts, we're going to go to the settings drop down menu and go down to where it says condition templates. This is going to get you to the condition template directory. So if you're just starting with the system, you're going to have two dummy systems, probably two dummy contracts inside of your, your system that are going to be full of what's called lorem ipsum, which is basically dummy text. Um, what we're going to do is edit those. If you've got previously written contracts, all you're going to do is copy and paste them in. But we're going to create our contracts. You could have as many as you like in here. And then when you get to the order sheet, you're going to select them from a drop down menu. So what I'm first going to do is go to my condition one and see what's in here. So this is a pre-written condition or pre-written contract template that's inside this system. So uh, we've already established this. Once again, the standard contract at the top. If this is our main form of terms and agreements, I'm going to select yes so that this is populated onto the order types that I select below. Then I'm going to create a unique name for this contract. So this one will be called Condition 1. You might want to use Terms and Agreements or uh, Corporate Contract, Charity Contract, uh, Equipment Contract, whatever you want to call it. Just make sure it stands out so you are using the right contracts for the right clients. Under Order Types, this is where I'm going to select from a drop-down menu. We haven't created our order types in the system yet. So you're going to have probably, if you're going just starting up, you're only going to have the uh, initial presets. However, once you create more order types, you can select specific contracts to go with specific order types. Select them from a drop-down menu. If you don't want to have, if you'd like this contract to be available for all order types, you can select the blank area and that will make it available for all order types. Then we get to the text area. This is where you're going to populate what your contract is going to say. You can use dynamic fields just as before to auto populate your contract to give it a more personalized and professional feel as well and then enter the text that you would like to add. So I'm going to click save once that's done and then it's going to create my contract template. If I would like to create any new ones I use the button on the right hand side. Once again I can name it whatever I'd like. We'll call this our test contract and we're going to make it only available for test orders and then I can copy and paste whatever I like into here. Once again, using the dynamic fields, if I'd like to populate any specific uh, information pulled from the system, and then I can save that as well. That's it for creating contracts. I'll show you where they are going to play a role when you're entering it into the, the order information, to the order sheet. So if I open up this uh, order that's uh, available by using the edit link on my dashboard, on the right hand side, I can have the drop down menu to select my contract. Uh, contract one from the list. Uh, this is not an, a part of my order type that was labeled test, so I will not have my test contract available to me. I just have condition one, and then when I save it, that will uh, populate and become part of my uh, order sheet as well. And then on the second page of the order sheet that is sent to the client is the contract for them to see, sign off on, and agree upon. That's it for setting your condition templates. Go through and set them up, spend some time, and make sure your contracts are right so we avoid any future problems. If you have any questions, feel free to call us at 888-925-6236. That's 888-925-6236 or send us a support request using the green support button on the right hand side or you can feel free to uh, check out the website at www.rentaltracks.com.